Hey guys, Godslayer here, and today we'll be going over who was codenamed Perseus, inspired by the new Call of Duty teaser trailer, and deciding whether he was real or not based on the evidence. Perseus was the codename of a possible Soviet spy, alleged to have breached US national security at Los Alamos during the Manhattan Project. However, until 1995, only two Soviet spies, Klaus Fuchs and David Greenglass, were publicly known to have stolen U.S. nuclear and atomic secrets from secret Manhattan Project facility at Los Alamos, where the atomic bomb was actually built. Coded Soviet cables sent during the years 1940 to 1948 that were eventually deciphered by U.S. intelligence under the codename Venona, and released in 1995 identified a third Soviet agent, Theodore Hall, a young physics prodigy who had worked as a junior scientist in the plutonium bomb project. Some students of the Soviet atomic espionage have believed in the existence of a fourth unidentified Soviet spy at Los Alamos, codenamed Perseus. This belief is based on memoirs of KGB officers published in the early 1990s. But with the opening of the Venona descriptions in 1995, it became clear that Perseus was a Soviet intelligence disinformation operation to protect Theodore Hall. Then alive, but he was not publicly exposed as a Soviet spy. The fake Perseus was given characteristics that did not fit Hall. There was no Perseus according to the CIA and FBI. However, a number of spies within the Manhattan Project have never been positively identified. Most are only known by their codenames, as revealed in the Venona decrypts. One source, an engineer or scientist, who was given the codename Foggle, which was later changed to Perseus, apparently worked on the fringes of the Manhattan Project for several years passing along what information he could according to the Soviet documents. While there was no Perseus, there was a fourth Soviet spy at Los Alamos. For seven decades, the identity of the spy had been buried in the FBI's investigative files. Recently declassified, these documents revealed that along with Fuchs, Greenglass, and Hall, the fourth Soviet source at the Los Alamos laboratory in World War II was Oscar Saborer. The FBI has known since 1955 that Oscar secretly defected to the Soviet bloc in 1952, living initially in East Germany, but then moving to Moscow, where he lived under the name Smith. But the role of Oscar Saborer and his associates in the Soviet espionage has remained hidden for 70 years. A US official has said, while we know a great deal about the information that Fuchs, Hall, and Greenglass had access to, and some of the specifics of exactly what they provided the Soviets, we only know that Oscar provided something. Another defector claims that Oscar handed over to them the formula for the atomic bomb, and while Oscar's own belief was that if he returned to the United States, he would face execution. While Oscar was only an army technician, he had access to sensitive material. He provided the Soviets with a physical sample of a part of the triggering mechanism of the atomic bombs. We do know that the Soviet government awarded Oscar the Order of the Red Star in 1964, so his contributions must have had some effect. Oscar died on April 23, 2015 in Moscow. Among the attendees at the funeral was a representative of the FSB, the Russian intelligence agency. No image of Oscar could be found. If you ended up liking the video, consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind. Thank you for watching.